husband and wife come home from the funeral, see? And she's still not talking to him. Finally, he says, look, I don't know what you got to gripe about. For 17 years, I let the guy live at our house rent free. For 17 years, I let him wear my clothes. For 17 years, I let him sit in my chair. I let him pick out the television shows he'll watch. I even let him smoke my cigars. Now, nobody, nobody in your whole family ever treated your uncle better than I did. And the wife looks at him and she says, my, my uncle? uncle? I, I thought, thought he was your uncle. <laughs> Huh? The whole world has heard it. Uh, I'm sorry. When I was a little girl, I went to a vaudeville show. <laughs> there, you see what I've been telling you, Doodles? You gotta update your material. At least past World War I. <laughs> Next time. Huh? Wait a minute. I I'm sorry. Lady, I have my pride. But, but fortunately, my stomach is extremely tolerant. <laughs> well, Sid, who have we here, huh? Oh, the kid, huh? Yeah. Who's this? Oh, this is my mother. You didn't tell me she had one at all. We happen to come as standard equipment with human beings. <laughs> Ooh, a sharp one, too, the worst kind. Don't get Mrs. Bradley wrong, Barney. She's only here to help. Right? Right. You don't, don't mind me. Uh, I, I've read about those stage mothers. <laughs> you, you'll never even know I'm here. This I gotta see. <laughs> Look right ahead, don't mind me. <laughs> if I get bored, I can always take a nice, long walk. <laughs> okay, kids, you got your rehearsal clothes? Well, yes. Do you want to see me in them? That's the general idea, yeah. Well, okay. Don't oh, worry about it, Bonnie. It's all right, honey. I'll take your coat and your bag. And now, let's get out of your dress, huh? <laughs> That's a girl. The arms. And slow. And step out. That's a girl. Bonnie? Huh? <laughs> yeah? Is that uh, necessary? Is what necessary? Looking at her? Lady, what business are you in? I run a hotel. I see. So you order a side of beef. You don't check it out to make sure it's nice and lean? <laughs> Pardon me all over the place, but I have never considered my daughter a side of beef. Come on, Billy Joe. Mom! Uh, Mrs. Bradley, you've got to understand, Mr. Morgan here isn't being disrespectful of Billy Joe. It's just that he's got to see what he's buying. It's strictly impersonal. And besides, Mom, if I do get the job, it's because I'm, well, not homely, and I can sing. Well, let's get to the singing. Barney? Okay, but no more interruptions, huh? You won't even know I'm here. <laughs> Wanna bet? Let's get up on stage, huh? That's it. Be careful. Atta girl, huh? Charlie? Play. You gotta live. You gotta smile. You gotta make it all worth <laughs> Now what? Oh, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. You missed? It's just that I don't think that's a good song for Billy Joe to sing, in, in my opinion, of course. Of course. I don't suppose my opinion counts for anything. <laughs> oh, yes, it counts for plenty. Gee, thanks. <laughs> yeah. You see, when Billy Joe is at home, she sings one song especially well. Oh, what song is that? Mighty Like a Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Mighty? I've heard it. It's lovely. Cutest little fella, everybody knows. I don't know what you call him. Hold it, hold it. Cut, Charlie! <laughs> Lady, maybe you don't get the idea. I'm trying to bring people into the saloon, not chase them out. I'm going to tell you something. Everybody in Hooterville would come here to hear Billy Joe sing Mighty Like a Rose. I don't care what... Everybody? A drinking crowd, are they? Are they? You name it and they'll swallow it. Ginger ale, root beer, sarsaparilla, cranberry juice. Why, Floyd Smooth alone can drink a whole pitcher of lemonade. Oh, George! Is that it? Uh-huh. Shall I call the others? And wish me luck. Dinner is served. 
About time I was hungry as a bear. So am I. I'll just grab one of these, let my stomach know I ain't forgot it. <laughs> Betty Jo made dinner tonight. Oh, I thought you were hungry as a bear. I just went into hibernation. Now, Uncle Joe, everybody's got to cook their first meal, and somebody has to be the first one to eat it. But why me? Oh, I bet it's delicious. You want to back that up with folding money? <laughs> Thanks, Steve. I hope you like it. Oh, sure I will. Mmm. Yum, yum. What is it? Can't you tell? Uh, mushrooms. <laughs> no, silly. Fried pickles. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Mmm. Bamboo sprouts? <laughs> That's not it either. It isn't? <laughs> I should think you'd recognize your favorite dish. You made my favorite dish? Uh-huh. Well, of course, for heaven's sakes, that's what it is. Hmm. Could you give me a hint? It's macaroni and cheese. It is? I mean, it is. And just the way I like it, too. Nice and black. Well, I uh, did burn it a little, didn't I? Don't oh, be silly. That's... The only way to give it flavor. You're not just saying that? Here, fill my plate. What a way to go. Got to use your telephone right away, an emergency. Sarah, Bobby Joe Bradley, get me Doc Stewart right away. Yes, please hurry. Doc Stewart? Who's sick? It's Stevie. Doc, Bobby Joe Bradley, can you get out to the Shady Rest right away? What? Well, what happened was, Betty Jo cooked dinner tonight, and... Well, of course somebody ate it. <laughs> Hello? Hello? He just said, be right there, and hung up. Yeah, uh, tell me, did Betty Jo really cook dinner? And Steve ate it? Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh, what kind of reputation does she have, anyway? Well, let's put it this way. All Lisa Douglas can make is pancakes, and she's considered the second worst cook in the valley. But he has to learn sometime. Well, sure they do. What did she make? A new recipe. Black macaroni. <laughs> Hello, drunker store. Oh, Kate, it's your mother. Hello, Sam. I'm glad I caught you in. Yeah, I just got to wondering how everything is, and if you know how the folks are getting along at the Shady Rest. Well, it's funny you should ask about that. I was just talking... Talking about what, Sam? Uh, 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 nothing, Kate, nothing at all. Now, Sam, there's got to be something. Uh, th th my intuition tells me you're hiding something. Oh, no, Kate, honest. Well, it's nothing to fret over. Anyway, there's nothing you can do about it now. Well, let me decide that, will you? What is it I can't do anything about? Well, just take my word for it, Kate. There's nothing you can do about it. It's too late. <laughs> anyway, it, it's nothing that time won't heal. The fact is, we'll probably all get a real chuckle out of it in years to come. Sam, you sure it isn't anything serious? Now, Kate, just don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, Kate, I have got to go now. A customer. Bye. <laughs> it's too late. There's nothing you can do about it now. Oh, Mom, Steve and I are just friends. Mom, I wanted to cook breakfast. When I get married, my husband will expect it. It's too late. There's nothing you can do about it now. Oh, Mom, Steve and I are just friends. When I get married, my husband will expect it. There's nothing you can do about it now. Steve and I are just friends. It's too late. When I get married. Married? Betty <laughs> Jo, married? <laughs> oh! You're trying to get there as soon as I can. Oh, hello. I want a ticket to Hooterville. That's right.